hello guys welcome to my channel i hope everything's okay in your life in this video i will convey the 7 july 2023 global Love update notes the global lab is amazing this week i hope this happens every week lots of quality of life changes content news tier 10 horse changes new skills and etc it took a while to prepare it but it was definitely worth let's move on to the notes without further ado the first topic of this week is about tier 10 doom skills and the features have been officially announced skill names probably will change in the official update first skill is shut off of karma you already know it they announced the details summon two dream tombs you will be able to ride with your group member party member or platoon member it, it will consume 400 stamina you will be able to use this skill with se short p and i'm not sure but it says 10 minutes for usage i thought that it was 10 seconds but maybe it is 10 minutes i don't know maybe i'm mistaken when used during cooldown it applies a buff that increased movement speed by 5 person for 1 minute to yourself and nearby allies. It's up to 10 people, which is insane. This skill has a cooldown of 20 minutes and Mythical Doom will not be summoned even if you use the skill during cooldown. Another skill is Hellfire Ride. It automatically activates after third dash and moves forward at high speed for a certain period of time dealing damage with the melee attacks when the hit is successful flames are created around it and targets touched by the flame take damage it consumes 1.2k stamina a third skill is hell legion acquire at least one of these skills charge s charge instant axel s instant axel dark run and a hellfire run this is third dash you will be able to use this skill with a we shorty it will consume 400 stamina when you use these skills it will inflict fire damage stages in front what are your thoughts about mythical doom please let me know in the comment section also mythical adonat and dying chains have been officially announced it has been added so that you can run forward when you press q key while using mythical adonat's wings of freedom skill however this action can be used only when you are learning the skills wings of freedom which is the skill a bone of mythical Arduana. Mythical Dying consumes Ogre's Breath, so it has been improved to run 20-30% faster when running on water. Reduced Ogre's Breath consumed by Mythical Dying while running on water by approximately 50%. Huge buffs for Dying. Another change related to Mythical Feeder and Royal Fenrir. Mythical Feeder can now drop from Field Bosses and Often World Boss. On the other hand, you will now receive two Feeders from Weekly Quest instead of one. Tell the Patrigio Secret Night Vendor. There is a chance we can get it from there, but there is no information about the price. Also, the Royal Fernwood Weekly Quest has been buffed, increased from 30 to 50, which means you will be able to do one attempt per week almost. The second topic of this week is about character social action. As you know, they added a special setting for male characters in the past weeks. And they also added this thing more aesthetically for female characters. I think female characters with a more delicate stance sits more aesthetically than male characters. What you think about it? Our third topic is about item changes. They added the map cooldown independence they announced at the head of all to the game. Now the cooldowns of the map items in the game will be separate from each other. The feature we have been waiting for years has finally been added. Thank you PA. Our fourth topic is about party or group enhancement. It is a very different content. You will be able to enhance your items at the same time with your party or your friends. Added ability to enhance equipment with the party members. Straightening together is only possible in the party state and will not proceed if there is a less than 5 people. When the party leader talks to the black spirit and clicks the group enhancement event button at the bottom left, you will move to the enhancement window. After setting the desired enhancement item, click the enhance together button and send enhancement request to your party member. However, if the party member is too far, it will not be sent. Party members can immediately enter the group enhancement window by clicking the group enhancement notification button to the right of their name in the party member list. Party members can only set items of the same level of enhancement as the items set by the party leader in the enhancement window. Each party member must press the ready button when they are ready and the party leader's enhancement button will be activated only when everyone is ready. When the party leader presses the enhancement button, a guide message is displayed once more and when the confirm button is pressed, five members enhancement simultaneously. Interesting. Enhanced together cannot be cancelled once the enhancement is in progress. Very very interesting. What you think about it? The other content changes is about All Moon Furniture Workshop. They added to Dalville Village as well. For the details of the items, please use the Global Lab update link in the descriptions. It has so many details. Another content change is about Battle Arena changes. 
More dummies added to Battle Arena. As more adventurers seek out the Battle Arena, six additional dummies have started to help practice their skills at the Battle Arena. With the addition of the dummies to the Battle Arena, the area of the Battle Arena has been expanded and also cleared. And also, there's something I want to add. I had previously prepared a submitted detailed report of this to PA. These dummies are daring to work for PvP purpose. However, they do not fully reflect the CC rules in the game and the animations that exist in PvP CC rules. For example, when you apply your full CC, your opponent stays on the airs, which we call that air stat, around 1 second. During this time, you can deal air attack damage by your skills. Dummies hardly reflect this air attack time of float CC. It goes into ground state into 0.3 second or something. This needs to be fixed. Also another thing is down smash rule. In PvP, down smash has 30% chance to work. In dummies, it works with 100% chance. That also needs to be fixed. Finally, the attack decision feature, which means critical back attack, down attack, air attack, and etc. does not work on dummies. Hopefully, PA fix it. The last content update is about Termion. The EA company, which normally does not plan Termion updates, has announced that it will open the Termion for the next two weeks. They presented it as an additional event for the players until the arrival of the new summer event, Sea Palace, which will arrive on July 26. But there will be no fishing event this year. I guess we will only be able to do their shop and special event quests. Another topic is about monster changes, Shira, Sherikan Daytime, Red Wolf, Nawan, Ronoros, and Manshom spots respawn time have been reduced by 50%. I hope this change will be added more spots, I mean especially for like Sakurai and Hysteria type of spots. When you kill the Olin Golem, the big one, its minions will no longer disappear. Now you will be able to do DPS with ease. After this patch, you will no need to think about that, hey, we shouldn't kill the big one before kill the minions. Another change is about UI. We have tons of changes about UI. Let me read the developer's note about Newbie's back. Newbie back has been added for new adventurers. This can be used by any new adventurers and there is no separate weight limit. Especially for the new adventurers, there must be many that are still unfamiliar with various support items. So I hope you put all those items in your Newbie back first and get to know them step by step and use them well. However, some items such as loot from the hunting monsters including trash loots and pearl bag items cannot be used in this bag. In addition, bag category sorting by has been added you can now sort each item by type so i hope you make good use of it also adventurers are giving more opinions about bags and among them there were a lot of comments about the inconvenience of the combined items we are looking for way to use combination items without inconvenience and we will come up with the solution even if it takes a little longer thank you during the new adventurers benefit period new adventurers can freely store items in their bag when the new adventurers benefit ends, you can no longer store items but you can take them out at any time. Trash load items, items stored in the power bag, contribution items, fixed term items, items required for the trade, horse registration certificate, ferry or boss registration certificate, guild related items. Category bag sorting has been added. This sorting function is a function that allows you to more clearly check the items in your adventurous bag according to their function. The level requirements of the characters in the family to use the following features have been removed. Packs added so you can check the menu more clearly when using functions such as repair, trade and stables from the NPC. An effect has been added to make it clear when you can rent and return a traveler's horse at the stable. It has been improved to expose a confirmation pop-up when entering the Arsha server. The warning text in the notification that appears when the item transfer is disabled has been modified to guide the content related to the artifact or light stones, not the content related to the modification. It has been improved so that a guide for automatic movements through the T key import is displayed for new adventurers. The guides can be found in the UI for movement distance around the character. From this point on, you will see the class changes. I will not read them one by one. Ninja, Kanoichi, no one Maigo classes have received a very good changes and adjustments and improvements. To be honest, I was jealous of no changes. I tried to translate the global lab notes and especially the class changes one by one for you every week. It is completely free for you to pay my effort. If you stop the video right now, subscribe to the channel and like the video, share it on your Discord, you will do me the biggest favor you can do. I hope you guys like my content. Do not forget, video is just a game. Have a nice game.